Hey y'all, it's your girl, Maddie. Look back again with the bouncy can excuse me. Let me try that again. Cut. Back again with the bouncy camera. All right, let's get into it. Nope, let's not get into it yet. Let me explain myself. So in my last sketchbook tour, I said, um, hey, this is a really funky notebook, um, but uh, I have an even funkier one. So this was very much like a, um, like an experimental notebook, but I actually think this is probably my favorite sketchbook of all time. So yeah, let's get started and then I'll, you know, kind of talk you through it. So I started this in the summer of 2020. Um, you see this is my first drawing here. Um, I've been really wanting to do something loose and I, would, I was never able to figure out how to do something like that. So this was like testing out um, some supplies that I got and um, yeah, so, so doing some shapes here with different pens that I got. Um, I actually think I got it from uh, Supply Depot, which is actually where I got my last sketchbook, my little yellow sketchbook from. Um, it's a little art store in Toledo. So if you're in the Ohio, Northwestern Ohio area, definitely check out Art, art Supply Depot. Um, so I kind of started off by doing like some shapes and then like adding figures or like, add, like adding limbs and heads. So um, I guess I could turn it into a full figure. Um, this was just like, a lot of this stuff was off the top of my head. Um, this is a self portrait. Um, you can always tell if it's a portrait of me because it has spiky hair. I think I said that in my last video too. Um, here's a random reference image I got off of Pinterest and you'll notice that the images like these that I got off of Pinterest, they're horrible. They're just not fun, they're not loose, and I think I was putting myself in a box, so I quickly moved away from that. As you can see, these characters are definitely um, a lot more dynamic. Um, these are fun. A couple, couple colors. Um, and then I eventually started working into um, like covering an entire page with the figure. Um, no matter how oblong I made it, um, I just wanted it to fit in the page. You'll also see a lot of sweaters. <laughs> a lot of sweaters and a lot of checkers here. Um, they really help with uh, like filling out a space, like a big lucky sweater. Um, this is probably my favorite drawing from this notebook. It's, I don't know, he's just fun, he's free, he's everything I want to be, you know? Um, dance through the flowers, it's another very common theme, some plants. I'm so mad this one bl bled through, um, but I think these two are just so cute. They're like a cute couple that own a plant shop. So as you'll see, let's, let's, let's go back over this. Plants sweaters and cowboy boots. Prepare yourself for that. Um, he's a big sweater boy. So this is one of many attempts of a um, Harry Styles <laughs> drawing. You will see the next couple of pages are literally just filled with Harry Styles. Um, I'm a huge stan. Uh, but I, I, love the, I love that he wears patterns and really bright colors. Um, however, I didn't do a lot of colors in this notebook. As you can see, it's not the best quality and obviously bleeds through a lot, so I kind of avoided it. Um, although, I think it would be smart to go back and like redraw some of these with color because I think they would be really fucking cool. Um, excuse my language. I love this guy. Also, Harry. Um, he's got all of his rings, he's got his polka dot shirt, his collar, um, a strawberry. Um, said midsummer-esque vibes here, our May Queen. Some pants and cowboy boots. Oh, these guys are really fun too. I had a really fun time, um, drawing these boots here, little checkered boots. Ah, this guy is so cute too. Um, this is based off of a, um, a 
Picasso print that I got. Is it a Picasso? Yeah, it's a Picasso print that I got. Um, I think just the image of holding a flower is, that's adorable, it's cute. He's a little friend. Um, okay, so here um, I just kind of wanted to, um, I think I was, I drew somebody with a bunch of tattoos in one of my previous drawings and so I was like, oh, I want to do like a tattooed girl. So here's um, a girl, um, this is to be like a beach hat. She's like in her bathing suit. Wish I would have added more detail to the bathing suit. Big old skeleton man. Um, here's me with my dream Ikea lamp. That's like 300 bucks and I can't afford it. Um, okay, so coming up, we're gonna have a bunch of Halloween drawings, I think. Punk, punk, probably another punk drawing. Oh, oh, we got ghosties. I also haven't looked at this sketchbook in forever, so um, this is definitely going to be a blind flip through. It's a figure. Yeah, so obviously it's Halloween around this time. And I also wanted to mention that I was breezing through this sketchbook. And there was something really cathartic about just like making figures and being so happy with them. Like they feel like I, I started doing stuff like this because it just felt a lot better than doing a 10 hour long drawing and it just coming out like so boring or just so plain. Like this actually felt like something so natural to me and it, it felt like it like fit my personality a lot more um yeah and I think I needed it at that time it kind of like reset everything he's a cute little couple here love this boy right here he is so cute he is so sweet he's the Oshkosh Bagosh boy a little teacup lad and some swirly doos more teacups, and Alice in Wonderland type drawing. I wish I would have drawn hair on this person. I draw a lot of bald people, just because I feel like hair would kind of ruin the figures. Couple here, couple there. There's me filling out the page. More. Oh, and look at that, more ghosts. The plant pal with a little Pomeranian. Pilia, I think we got our Pilia around that time. And um, so, um, so I was like really obsessed with drawing it. It's so cute. It's just like a bunch of like little like lily pads on a sprout. It's like adorable. I got these for you. Oh, thanks. Um, I think this is like a Frank Zappa. Oh my god, my hands are like little zombie hands. Good lord. Um, anyways. So, this is... This could... This is just anyone. I think I wanted to draw the pants. And, you know, why didn't I color the pants in? The pants would have been so good. Blue and red and white here. Come on, now. This man. Some Schwetter people. Some critters, some Halloween critters. Oh, these, I made these for my Etsy orders. I like put these on like little postal notes and um, I cut them out. And these are some extra ones, or like these were like the less cute ones, I think. And then I put them in my Etsy order. Oh, oh my God, okay, so. I think these next couple of pages is gonna be like a shit ton of Harry Styles and I just kept like messing up this drawing. I just couldn't get his face right because it was like, it looked like I was doing it like, like I was being so serious about it. Like this drawing of Harry Styles is like the most fucking like serious thing. Um, I think I ended up with this one. I'm sure there's gonna be more. I am sure there is more. And then I kind of started focusing on like pants um you know because they can be patterned and they always register and you can like focus on like the shoes with it like you don't need the full outfit I think like a 
you know, if you got like a singular funky piece of clothing, I think that can stand out on its own. Oh, let's see, there's another Harry. This is supposed to be Harry, but I was like, can I draw this something different? And then I just didn't finish it, in, I guess. Oh, and another Harry. And there's me, self-portrait again. There's the spiky hair. I got this from a local shop. This was done by a local artist, although I do not know their name, so I am so sorry. Oh my God, more Harry. Okay, so this is the, I think this is the last one. You can see that he's got the anchor tattoo. Um, yeah, and he's got the little boots and stuff. So I figured if it's colored and it has the like the, the background, like I think we're good. And uh, there's this little guy here. I think he's so sweet. He's a fun little man. Oh, okay. So I got like a neon marker here. And uh, of course I have to um, test it out using my favorite word. You know, see what I mean with like color? Like I, I'm just not good at it, so I try to avoid it as much as possible. But I think I was like trying to figure out like what to use or like just using the, I think this is a, this is something from me trying to use all the only colors that I had around me. Um, and here is a woman. Oh God, okay. So here's this drawing, very cute. Um, now here's the, where the frustration gets with this um, this notebook. This is like an uh, this is supposed to be like an Inktober thing. I was like, well, if I'm breezing through these drawings, I should be able to like kind of work through Inktober with them, like with this style. And um, one of the styles was draw, or one of the prompts for Inktober. Um, was draw your favorite Ghibli boy. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna draw Haku because I love him and that's my baby daddy. Obsessed with Haku. And um, I tried doing it and it just, like when I try to use references, it just does not work. And I don't know, I'm still not happy about it. And I still haven't figured out how to do something like that. Um, so I try to avoid, um, like using like pop culture references and trying to get something in someone's likeness. As you can see, I was having a really hard time with like doing like Harry, even though he's pretty recognizable by his outfits. But um, yeah, it is fall, my dudes. So yeah, like a lot of these are just like a lot more like freestyle. Oh, I love these guys right here. This one and then this one is like so freaking cute. I love cutie dolls. I have a huge collection of cutie dolls. Wow. Oh, and then, okay, so you'll see some of these figures have hair too. And I'm telling you, when I would add hair to them, it just did not feel, I don't know, when I would try to make them like pretty, they just did not, I don't know, it just did not work. There's a man on an elephant that I got, that I like referenced from this like, psychedelic calendar see it's like she's so cute but she just does not work for me I mean I could have worked into her some more but like it's just not doing it for me I don't know oh here is an election drawing hello can I come in no oh here's a gay colored drawing the cute she's actually very cute I actually kind of like this drawing I do not remember making this by by any means see. sketch okay so this is a drawing I love this drawing very much this is a drawing I did for um, Big Bud Press they um, opened a shop up here in uh, Chicago and I really like their stuff a lot. And you, they, they got the striped pants, they got the pattern pants. It's right up my alley. Um, did uh, some Chicago style houses. Um, I didn't do it for them. Like it, this wasn't a commission. This was just like something I wanted to do. And I tagged them on Instagram. Um, here's a couple of like sketches, but this is um, 
after election day, um, <laughs> when we got the results of the election, here is my cat in a tree, Christmas tree, excuse me. He is a little bastard man, but um, that's why I love him. Okay, so here I'm going a little bit in a different direction. I wanted to do some like, like funky fashion illustrations. So this is like, um, like a Gucci outfit. And I love the, um, I love their like solid plain colored or color block, excuse me, color block outfits. Um, and I think the way they like have their models pose and the way they style things, I think it, it works really well with my style. Um, I also really like musicians. So here's another drawing of a musician um, singing a song about being sweaty. Um, I love, uh, I'm really inspired by old jazz albums, um, jazz album artworks. I think they're like, I think the art matches the music where it's like so free and so loose and I really like that. Um, here's some oranges, some more music, the silly goose juice. This is definitely like a tighter drawing than the rest of them, but I think it fits. Um, so I wanted to draw some like environments. I really like this drawing too. Just one of those days. Uh, there's another guy. Some red pandas, some notes. I rarely take notes in my notebook. Um, okay, so we're getting towards the end here. This is, um, I was trying to draw a Gucci jumpsuit. Here's another attempt at it, and here's my final edit. I should probably go over it with some more green. Um, this is like one of my dream outfits. I love this Gucci jumpsuit. It's like a flat green, and the belt is also a flat green, and it's just so cool, and everyone that wears it is um, really awesome. I saw it on Florence Welch, and um, I just had to have it. And I think, y'all, this is the last page. And this is a picture of my cat and I. This is Salem, that's me. And um, there's the little rainbow we sat on. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I have some whirly gigs in here for my grandma's front yard. And, um, oh, 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 oh. Got a surprise in here. Um, here is a little zine that I made. It's not done at all, but. I just wanted to do some funky patterns in it. Isn't that nice? Yeah, cool. All right. Well, thanks so much for sticking around and watching the video. Um, it, seem, it seems like you guys liked my last sketchbook video, which I definitely appreciate. Um, yeah, so if you're a fan, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And have a good day. I love you. Tell your mom I said hi.